So if you've ever modded your NES Classic, there's a huge update to the Hackchi program today on uh, February 19, 2017. Hackchi Hack 2.12 has finally been released. So if you've ever modded your NES Classic, the first thing you were able to do was add up to about 90 NES games. Then another update came and you can add the whole NES library with the last update 2.11 you were able to add retro arch which let you play super nintendo game boy genesis games the only issue with that was there was an icon in the main menu for your nes classic and it would jump to a different program to play the game so if you wanted to play a super nintendo game they didn't have the artwork set out on the main menu for the nes classic and that's what i didn't like but now with this update you could actually Play all your games from the main menu of the NES Classic, which is awesome. Um, it is very easy to install. I can show you how to do it right now. All the links will be down below. Uh, the first thing you need to do is download Hack G2. 2.12 finally released. You're going to need to download. Um, you can either do either one. Um, I just picked this one to do, uh, to download. I think you can do this one too. I'm not sure what the difference is, whatever. Um, download either one, whatever you want. The next thing you want to do is go to this link right here. And now this is a mod that you're going to install on Hackchi. This is the Retro Arch mod. So this is a different way that Retro Arch has been modded onto your NES Classic. This will run NES. This is going to run Super NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Genesis, I believe that's Sega Master System, and Nintendo 64. The two files you want to download are the Clover app zip and Retro Arch H mod. Once those two are downloaded and you've downloaded the Hackchi program, I put everything on my desktop. These are the four main files I'm going to be working with right now. You're going to open up. Now mine says Hackchi 3 only because I have other Hackchi programs going on with other um, downloads that I've done on other NES classics, but uh, this is Hack G2. You're going to open this up, open up the folder. Now in user mod, let's see if I can move this over. You're going to open up the user mods and you're going to drag in one of the files you downloaded, the Retro Arch H mod. You're going to throw that right in there. Very simple. Go back out and you're going to open up the application for Hack G. Now, this is, again, the same menu, same program that you've used before. It just has a few more things down in the menu. Uh, the first thing you want to do, console type. I am going to do the NES Mini. Uh, controller hack. This is something I didn't go over last time, but you can actually, instead of hitting the reset button to restart a game or start a new game up, you can actually... Um, program your buttons to uh, reset for you. So it's automatically set for select and down. Um, I'm gonna keep it like that, it's really easy to do. It's nice because again, with the short controller, if you have a long extension on it, um, you have to get up and reach over for your NES Classic, but now you can just hit down and select and it'll restart. So I am starting from a fresh NES Classic. I uninstalled all the games and I just have the original 30 games. The first thing you want to do, if you are doing this with a new NES Classic with the original 30 games, you're going to go to Kernel. You're going to dump the Kernel. Do you want to dump the Kernel? Why? Sure. And you're going to do the same old thing you've always done. You're going to hold down the reset button. You're going to press the power button. And then after a few seconds, you're going to let go of the reset button. And after this prompt is done, it's done. Your original kernel is saved to the dump folder. Do not lose it. After that, you're going to go to modules. You're going to install extra modules. Right here, you're going to select retro arch. Okay. And again, prompt is going to come up and it's going to upload after that's done you're going to add more games again now you want to find 
the Clover app that you downloaded. This is the other the other part of the mod that you downloaded for the Retro Arch. Double click on that, and now the logo is going to come up with Retro Arch. I'm actually going to unselect the original 30 games just so I can show you guys the other games that you can play for different systems. Now we want to add the ROMs to our NES Classic, so we're going to hit add more games again and I realized the last time I just said add more games again it was actually just the first time I hit it but now let's add more games again uh, I have everything on my desktop in my ROMs folder now I have five different games I have Ghost and Goblins for the Game Boy Sonic for Genesis Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64 Super Mario Advance for the uh, the Game Boy Advance, and I have Super Mario Kart for the Super NES. We're gonna select all of them. Open. Now, again, we can go through and add, go to Google and add artwork for every single one. I am going to actually just go to download box art for all games. This works not just for the NES games, but it'll work for any game you download now for the Super NES, the Game Boy, and so on. Works pretty well that I've seen. I've done this one time, I added a bunch of games, now I'm just gonna do a few just to show you guys. Wow, this is done. So, there's the Sonic, Mario 64, Mario Advanced, Mario Kart, uh, Retro Arch, that's the, the icon for that, or the little box art, I don't know if I like that one. Um, Ghost and Goblins, and that is not for Game Boy. Let's see if I can find it. There it is, uh, Game Boy Color, that'll work for right now. Now, after we've added our games, we want to synchronize selected games with the NES Mini. And we're gonna do the same thing that we've always done. Hold down the reset button, push power in, and let go of the reset button. And now it is done. We're going to wait for the LED light to go out on the NES Mini and everything should be downloaded and on your NES Classic. And now I'm going to jump to my phone and show you guys on the TV what the NES Classic looks like. All right, so this is what the NES Classic is going to look like. Instead of, this is RetroArch, instead of the old RetroArch where you had to go into the program and it only listed other games from other systems, now you can actually have the artwork. So Sonic, Super Mario 64, uh, Super Mario Advance, Super Mario Kart, and Ghosts and Goblins. And I only have five games, so it's kind of not showing them all at once. Um, you can add a lot more to it. Let's go into 60, uh, Super Mario 64. It's me, Mario. Not sure how this one plays. Nintendo 64 doesn't always play great. You can hear the sound is a little off. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to play this because I have a regular Nintendo controller. You're going to have to get a, a Nintendo uh, Wii controller, a classic controller. And it's a little off, but with the other Hakchi updates that are going to be coming, it's only going to get a lot better and better. They'll be able to fine tune these games. Uh, let's jump out and play one of the Game Boy games. Let's play Ghosts and Goblins. And this one should work with the NES Classic. This is for the Game Boy Color. Now I'm playing this one-handed, so it's not going to look that great. And of course, this is one of the hardest games to ever play, and I'm playing it one-handed. But this actually plays pretty well. Let's jump to Mario Kart for the Super NES, which is right there. Just starting up everything. I showed this one in my last video. 
and it played really well. But now again, you can have the artwork, which is just a hundred times better than what it was before. And I held down the wrong button. Oops. Man, I'm already off the course. One-handed. But anyway, um, this is the new Hatchy download. I'm going to reset it. And with this, you're going to actually, there's going to be a lot more mods. So the, the mod that I downloaded for Retro Arch um, is one of the mods. You're going to be able to download a lot of different mods to change the appearance of the NES Classic, to uh, change maybe how the artwork is loaded in. Um, a lot more stuff there. You can actually download a lot more um, consoles like uh, maybe Neo Geo or TurboGrafx-16. Uh, but this is just a quick look on how to do it. Um, again, all the links will be down below. If you guys like the video, please give me a like and I'll see you guys around.